Hello everyone. Welcome to Purple Noon Gallery for our first exhibition for 2023. And I'd like to welcome Julianne Ross Alcorn. Hello, Robin. Hello. So we haven't had um, Julianne here for a little while, so it'll be lovely catching up and hearing about all the wonderful things she's been doing since her last exhibition. We're not. We're going to dispense this year with our inter sit down interview. We're just going to do a walk around of the exhibition and look forward to talking about your. Ventures yeah. and, and yeah. some of the works. So the exhibition is called A Natural World Meditation. And while we look at the first uh, painting, which is actually with Julianne, we have two other artists exhibiting. We have Julie Simmons and Irene Mannion. And I think their work complements yours beautifully. And very I know, well. Yeah, yeah, you were I'm very excited. <laughs> Excellent. So our first uh, painting, Julianne, Julie, does beautiful acrylic trees, gum trees, and we have three or four of them in the exhibition. This is one of the first ones. And this one with a little more of the purple tones. I can't tell, I can tell you the names. Uh, this one is actually called Southern Highlands. So for anyone listening or watching from the Southern Highlands, you might be very interested in this painting. Now, then we, oh, poor Julianne, we're not even, we're not up to us. Irene Mannion's birds you will always most of you will remember Irene's magpies we've had them here um, on occasion and they go very very quickly but she did send me a couple more for this exhibition so we're very very lucky so we'll start with these little ones mm -hmm. Julie They're, these are just absolutely divine I've not seen but they're called tongos aren't they round pictures I, I don't know I just oh. needed to capture something small in a circle. I don't normally work in a circle, so it's a real challenge for me. I think they're um, But it was just taking the details and focusing in on them and playing with the space that you, the limited space you have within a circle. And for those of you that want to see how big they are, they, there's my hand. Um, they, these are just gorgeous and the detail. Mm. Now, just briefly, for anyone that's watching, could you describe how you get that? I'm not, I hope you don't mind touching it, but no, you've etched fine. it into the wood. I do scratch into the wood. I scratch into wood to get the textures of either the uh, the, the branches or the leaves, but especially the blossoms, um, the gum blossoms, where I, I find painting them, I, I don't get the delicacy of the, the look. And when you touch them, they're like a, they're like a tutu. But um, but some so have, yeah. some don't have them. Yeah, no. But that has a little bit, doesn't it? And yeah. a little bit on the bee. Yeah. Um, and most of my works will have a bumblebee in, uh, whether it's right. the blue banded bee or the um, the normal bees. Mm -hmm. But uh, and most of my works have yellow in them. So uh, I think this exhibition has a lot of golden hues. You, I remember um, you said that. You said think golden. You know, it's a lovely yeah. gold, and it is. It's really beautiful. I mean, honestly, I look at these paintings. And I'm one of the lucky ones. I come out here to work yeah. and I quite often sit at one of the tables here with my computer. I just look at the, <laughs> just the gorgeous work, but I'm, I'm particularly keen to talk about some of these because they're just okay. lovely. Now, these two are very similar. They have names like Jewel in the Crown Wattle Sprinting. So yes, that was this that one. And Jewel in the Crown. Jewel in the so Crown. You so I love to everyone. What I love the Guy Me Lily. I often paint the Guy Me Lily when I work on big panels, 1.8 to 3 metres. There's always two or three Guy Me Lilies, and they're about five feet high. But I wanted to concentrate actually on the red and just suggest. Uh, the lily because they're an ecosystem in themselves and the birds live in them um, and I needed to place them and like a crown the jewel I think it's perfect yeah. perfect name I don't know I love all of the names and this little one this the, is the bridal veil I think I've got uh, all of did you hear something like that yes um cascading floral veil yeah and isn't that beautiful so with this one uh, on our veranda in uh, the Barralong Valley, we have, um, uh, what's it called? Not the, the purple flower. Um, Not Tibicina? No, you know, the, it's a... Violet? 
No, <laughs> it's a vine. It's a vine with the purple oh, flowers. Wisteria. wisteria. We yeah. have wisteria. And then at home outside my studio, I have the, the yellow Carolina um, oh, oh. vine. And, and I thought I've, I'd like to put those together, but not they're not pure Australian. So I then looked at the composition, what was actually happening in nature, and then I turned them into the gum nuts and the wattle. Beautiful. And, and just, the little birds. And the well. little birds were hiding in there because in Barolong they're actually nesting into it. Um, and for anyone that hasn't realised, Julianne uses birch timber panels. Yes. And there's four panels in this. There's one, one, one yeah. panel, two panels, three panels, four panels. Yeah. And they're beautifully framed together in the in the lovely deep float frame. So they they are very they're a finished mm. product that looks stylish and. There's something about that, you know, I can imagine that above a dresser. Yeah. Or, yeah. And of course, look what we've got here. I know. I thought oh, this is a lovely <laughs> corner. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? It's a beautiful, beautiful corner. Gum leaves and the green yeah. is, uh, which is what's flowering at the moment. Yeah. Now, if you go over there and talk about this one here, because this next really mm. big one here. Yeah. Um, and it does have a, a lovely name, Watching and Waiting. So it's about the kookaburra. Again, you've got the guy Leonetti sitting in there and then you've got the explosion of the, the um, little gum nut floral things. But you've in, with the intimacy, you've got the soft flowers and the uh, butterfly, but it's about the conversation. So when I actually create an artwork, there's no plan. I just needed, I had a colour or a bird in mind, but I'm really conscious of the space and the conversation I hear when I walk through the valley. Which or when is I'm working. like the meditation. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So it's, it's the, the time you take uh, to stop and listen and then look. And when you actually stand in front of a lot of these works, there's all, there's ants and bugs and there's um, bees, uh, so you've got the little oh, bug on the Oh, look at these, yes. Yeah. Oh, so, this is beautiful. And of course, Julian, these ones with the diamond lily, they remind me of the pieces we've seen in the Wind Prize. Yes. So since we've seen you, yeah. you've had quite a few you know, accolades, yeah. really, haven't you? You've uh, won <laughs> the Watercolour Prize at yeah. the Wind. Yes, so and three times win, one, one time Archibald. Archibald. So, Julianne, you've really sort of stepped up. I mean, you're very well known now um, within art circles and with, particularly within those establishments like the yeah, art Yeah, I do have a, a, fo a really good following and Fabulous. it's um, nice to, it, it feels nice. I don't know about like the pressure. No, you just no. <laughs> I have, look, we'll keep walking because I'm very conscious of the time. We've got two more of these yes. round, round yeah. ideas. This one is a darling. That really so is that's lovely. the lyrebird because mm -hmm. in the valley there are lyrebirds everywhere mm -hmm. and they wake me up at 5.30, they mm -hmm. sing, they dance, they they just magic and I needed to capture them and the little gum blossom which is the, it's like a kiss. <laughs> yes. It's a little kiss and, and you know it needs a little nook to and hang. my hand to give you a, an idea of size. Oh, yeah, they're very... This is my favourite paint. I always have a favourite <laughs> and it changes, I know. But people say, oh, you said this one was your favourite. Yeah, oh, no, no, I've changed no. my mind. So but this one this is This one delightful. needed to be about the sulfur crystal cockatoos, which are nestled in the top. And that's the first thing I did. I knew I had to have a group of cockatoos because they really do uh, send their messages mm. through the bush. Mm. But they don't own it. They have to talk to someone, mm -hmm. which is why I've got the little kookaburra and the and the butterflies and the or the snail. moths and, and the snails. And that I look, it, it's so refreshing to just stand and meditate in front of one of your paintings, and I see something different every single time. I go, oh, I didn't know no. that little <laughs> bug was there. I probably or? don't know either. Oh. I have to be reminded. Actually, the dragonfly and the snails. So, um, well, do you know there's something else that uh, we've had your work here for you know a few years now? People have made the comment a number of times, mm. and I, I totally agree, that they, as well as being absolutely quintessentially Australian, mm. they have this hint of the orange, Japanese. oriental yes, flavour, which just makes them perfect. We are part of, you know, we Asia. are, we part, are of part of Asia, Asia yeah. and yet your paintings are so Australian, and yet they're incorporating that that little bit of that well, I, Japanese I'm influence. very um, I'm very influenced by the uh, Japanese art and the use of space and also Ikebana the flower yes. arrangement 
Uh, what do you, the, the, don't look at my flower arrangements no, today, no, very no. good. <laughs> what, the, the space between the height and the horizontal yep. and, and how to let the eye rest. So it's really about letting the eye rest in the painting and then being able to, to then focus in and concentrate on what you're seeing. So what you're saying essentially is that there's a lot more to these paintings than just their beauty, which yes. is the first thing that you know, really appeals yeah. to people. And then you, you meditate upon each piece and, and you see all these extra you little things, something. which is just so beautiful and thought out. You know, yeah, it is thought not, out. No. They're not, you, know, you say, I don't think about each painting as a, but you do. You're thinking the whole time as you're going and you're planning and structuring. I'm and planning and, and placing and stepping yes. back and yes. then getting it settled. And just so you, uh, these are quite small, these are the ones yes. here. For people. Now, this one. For those people that um, ordered the catalogue, um, and it's not in, it's not in there one. because neither of us, I didn't no. know, I, I just happened to be doing a floor sheet. Yeah. Hello, we're just doing a little video if you want to just wander around. Um, so this one, it wasn't in the, it wasn't in the original catalogue, but um, it found itself. Yes, and, I'm, uh, I've made an amendment. I'm and singing. the magpie is singing because he's now in part of it. <laughs> no, and uh, singing to the blue. Um, yes. And we've got to keep moving yeah. because we're time poor. Now, two more of Irene's absolutely beautiful paintings. Obviously, the first one is a wobbling magpie. Mm -hmm. And this one is the um, noisy it's miner. Is it? No, it's a noisy miner. Oh, beautiful. But look at that face. That's sort of it's a, like my Labrador face, face yeah, isn't it? That's gorgeous. <laughs> and so another, now here's another one with that simplicity and mm. that structure. The space. Just lovely. It's all about yeah. the space. Beautiful and wow. having the the bird and the the little cabbage uh, butterfly. That's an elegant paint. It, it is really an elegant. elegant paint. I love it. Yeah. yeah. And then this one. This is one's cheeky. cheeky. This is cheeky. very very cheeky. You know, he's in the bush. He's um, telling the my little hand, bird the what to do. You see, if, yeah, you go. I put my hand there for size. Fabulous. We have, um, we have to upload our video to YouTube and 15 minutes is maximum. Yeah, so we have to really yeah. whip around. Here's another one of Julie's. This is my personal favorite of mine, actually. I love the, the purples and the mosaic. Again, really ties in beautifully with gorgeous. some of yours. Lovely, lovely painting. And the last one of Julie's, which I put up on um, Instagram the other day, and it just went crazy. People loved it. So um, another beautiful painting of, um, Julie Simmons. So, thank you. Thank you very oh, much, Robin. It's lovely to be back here. It I is. I love having your work. Yes. yes. So, um, excited. Well, so today is the 6th of March, and this will run through till the 26th of March. And uh, if you would like to come to the exhibition, please do. But if not, everything will be online. It will all go online at 6 o'clock tonight. And you'll be able to see this video along with the whole exhibition walk around. So um, uh, please contact me if you need any information. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, George.